Why are gold nibs softer to write with than steel nibs if in the final steps of making any type of nib a small ball of iridium is added to the tip? In the end, doesn't it all come down to how well that iridium tip is polished? Uh, in a way, yes. So that is a part that's actually touching the paper. You know, that's sort of like when you're driving a car, it's your tires that are actually touching the road. So when it comes to like safety and stuff like that, you know, the tires that are on the road, that makes a big difference. However, there's other factors too. You know, the biggest, the biggest factor that has to do between gold and steel, it doesn't necessarily have to do with the smoothness, the actual smoothness of the ball tip in contact with the paper. Yes, that definitely is a huge factor, and that's what you're referring to here. How much that's smoothed out uh, makes a difference there. However, that's not the only factor um, when you're talking about smoothness. The smoothness also is a factor in the softness of the nib, and that's where it can really make a difference for a lot of people. Um, and it's kind of one of these finer points, like you hand somebody a pen with a gold nib, if they've never used a fountain pen before, they're not going to know the difference between that and a steel nib, generally speaking, or they won't appreciate it for sure. Um, it's kind of something that as you use fountain pens and you get a more kind of discriminating taste, you can really start to tell. It's like anything, you know, it's like if you golf. You know, you could, you, I could use the same clubs that Tiger Woods uses. I'm not going to hit like Tiger Woods, and I'm not going to feel the difference because I don't know what the heck I'm doing because I'm not a golfer. You know what I mean? Give me the cheapest, crappiest clubs you have because I'm going to slice it into the woods anyway. You know? <laughs> I don't want better clubs because I'm just going to slice it that much further into the, you know, <laughs> and lose that many more balls. Uh, anyway, so it's the it's, it's same thing with wine. If you're tasting wine, I can't tell you the difference between a $5 and a $5,000 bottle of wine. There is no difference. To me. There may not actually be a difference sometime. Well, okay, there usually is a difference between that extreme. But, um, for you know, for me, I don't have a discriminating palate, so I can't tell the difference. So for most people, yeah, don't go out and buy a gold nib, even though people are talking how great it is, because those are people that, you know, generally speaking, probably maybe can tell the difference, whereas if you're new into it, you can't, so don't spend the money on it. You know, um, but uh, you're talking like, what's the actual difference? The actual difference is in the softness of the metal. So stainless steel is a harder metal than gold. Um, and the higher the carat the gold, the softer the metal. Um, now, of course, you can have the thickness of the nib and the way that it's ground and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of engineering, actually, that goes into nib design that can affect how it writes. You know, otherwise, how do you have a pen like Noodler's with a stainless steel flexible nib? You know, it's because of the way that it's ground and cut and all those kinds of things. But nib for nib, if you have the exact same specifications and the only difference is one is stainless steel and one is gold, the gold one is going to have more flexibility to it. It's going to spring more as you're riding with it. So it's going to act like a shock absorber, like your car when it's driving down the road. As you're driving over bumps and stuff like that, if you have shocks on your car, you're going to feel fewer of those bumps. Even though the actual road could be the same, you know, the tires, you know, that would be the tip of the nib, would be the same, the shock absorber is going to give it a different feel on the road than it would if you had no shocks on your car, right? And the stainless steel nib is like the no shocks on your car. You're going to feel everything. And now granted, you're writing on paper, so you're not talking about huge potholes and stuff like that. Um, but you're talking, you know, paper definitely has a texture to it. So you're going to feel toothiness on paper more on stainless steel because you're going to feel more of that kind of feedback than you would with a gold nib. And then your own writing pressure as you're writing, you know, you're not a robot. You're not holding your hand perfectly level to the paper as you're writing. You know, your hand is going to vary in the up and down and all that kind of stuff. So you're going to feel more, uh, it's going to even out some of the, the, the bumps that you might feel. Not really bumps, but it's going to even out some of the unevenness that you have in your own writing style on a gold nib as opposed to a steel. That's what's actually happening. But also, generally speaking, when you have a gold nib, they're more expensive. Nib manufacturers tend to spend a little more time smoothing, polishing, aligning, and so on on those more expensive nibs. You know, for the sake of stainless steel keeping the cost down, they tend to do more machine work, which maybe isn't getting that same level of detail. So that it also could be a factor that, you know, it's not usually one for one the amount of time that's spent on stainless steel nibs as opposed to gold nibs. So that, that's a big factor as well.